Hello everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Tori and today I have an update for the Pan Those Eyeshadows Project Pan. This project was created by Lexi as always. She will be listed down below and let's just jump into it. For my Pan Those Eyeshadows, I'm solely focusing on palettes I own from the brand Mocha P Beauty that no longer exists. Let's just get started. So I'm gonna talk about the Made Cafe palette first. There are two shades in this palette that I have been working on, and those are Rem and Meryl. So obviously Rem has some new pan. First pan to be hit in this project. Um, since the last update, it was used nine times, and I hit goal, hit my goal on August 12th very excited that's why it took me so long to film this and why I wasn't up yesterday is because I really wanted to hit that pan and then for good old Meryl Meryl was used four times since the last update no real dips or anything yet it's just vibing the next palette we have to talk about is the Husbando palette and in the Husbando palette I'm also focusing on two shades so I have the shades Levi uh, Levi was used three times since the last update it's starting to get a little bit of a dip. Like you can tell that I'm really using it a lot in the middle. Well, we will see. And then Karma up here. Since the last update, Karma was only used once. I don't know. I need to think of a look specifically for Karma with some other shades I'm like panning because I don't know really what to do with Karma. And then the last palette before we talk about me rolling and rolling in is for fan service and the shade i'm focusing on is aquino you can start to see a dip now in aquino it was used three times since the last update um i'm not wearing it today i have a different dark blue in my lower lash line if you can tell um don't really know where to say about aquino pretty much just been using it in my lower lash line like i have been the previous update now it's time to generate a new eyeshadow to focus on to replace rem so i'm going to google good old google so first i'm going to put in one to three and from that that is going to pick which palette i am focusing on or which palette the eyeshadow is getting picked from i should say so i got one laying out in front of me has bondo was the first one so we are focusing already on two shades but i am still going to put in one through nine in the generator and see what i get i got seven so seven is daisy daisy hold on pronunciation pronunciation check so the shade that got picked was this brown shade does i I think is how you pronounce it. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, when I just looked it up, I know it's from Baku Shade Dogs, and I haven't. I think I've watched one or two episodes of that anime. Um, not that I like didn't want to watch it through. I just wasn't in the mood for it at the moment. But I think that this one's going to be a little weird to pair. Because it is a little cool toned. But it, looked like, it looks like it could play nice with warm tones. So it might look nice with Meryl um we'll have to see i think for attack plan with this project i feel like levi could be realistically next that might be one of the easier ones but i do want to keep up my usage uses on akino just to really start continuing that dip because you can tell so that is nice but yeah, that was my short and sweet update for Panda's eyeshadows. I'm very excited to have one rolling out because um, I would like to have pan in every single shades but the glitters by, you know, this time next year. So, yay! So I want to say thank you so much for watching me today. And if you enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and all that jazz. And peace out, Girl Scout.